Correa, reporting for the Yale Daily News, and I'm here with Senator Lieberman, who is the former vice presidential nominee um, and is now serving his fourth and final term um, representing Connecticut. And he is also the former editor of the Yale Daily News. I'm so glad you didn't leave that out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think are some of the hot button issues in the current Connecticut Senate race? Well, I'm, you know, I made this decision not to run for re-election, and I'm, I'm so blissful about that decision <laughs> that I've just been re reading, so I don't know. I mean, it's interesting, the, the, uh, and I'm staying out of it. I decided to take a sabbatical and maybe a, uh, for the rest of my life from elective politi politics. I'm certainly not going to run for anything again, but, uh, you know. Uh, so, uh, from what I am hearing from a distance and reading, uh, some of the issues being debated in the um, Senate race here in Connecticut for the seat that I, I'm now fortunate to occupy are, are not unlike the ones that are being debated at the presidential level. What, is, what does tax reform mean? Who's going to do what to preserve Social Security and Medicare? How, who, who has a better plan to create jobs? But then there are some specifics to uh, 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 Linda McMahon has been attacking Chris Murphy for some of his personal financial problems. He in turn has attacked her for her uh, financial uh, uh, problems and behavior. So, I mean, unfortunately, I tell you one of the reasons I'm so blissful not to be running because campaigns have become much too expensive and much more nasty, really mean-spirited than they've ever been. Uh, when people told me that, uh, you know, the experts said I'd probably have to raise a minimum of $30 million in small contributions, you, I mean, small in the sense that you can't raise more, I think it's $2,500 a person now. That's a lot of $2,500 to get to $30 million. And we're taking a lot of time around the country, away from my family, away from my job as a senator. So I just decided uh, I had had enough of, a, of campaign politics. So after 24 years um, serving on the Senate, what are your future plans? I don't know yet. Uh, I'm, I, I think generally that um, I'll try to do something, probably do some things in the private sector, and then uh, do leave a lot of room to continue to be involved, involved in public policy. It's been, you know, my life's work, and it would be uh, unnatural and very <laughs> displeasing to leave it. So how I do that, whether I um, get involved in a project of some kind, or work at a think tank, or uh, a university. I, I don't know, but the areas that I've focused on over my career have been foreign policy, national security, and environmental protection, and civil and human rights. And so I'll be looking for opportunities to continue my involvement in all of those. Well, thank you so much for being with us thank here you, today. Thank you, Nicole. It's been a pleasure. It's been a great uh, afternoon. Thank you. Thank